Hey y'all, I'm Tiana Michelle and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here is my review of Fenty Hair. They sent me the line back in June and of course I had to do an extensive review. I'm currently recording this voiceover Thursday, August 29th and I started using these products June 23rd. Starting out with the Rich Wind Moisture Repair Shampoo. According to the Fenty Beauty website, the shampoo is a gentle cleanser that is sulfate free and color safe. This scent is a warm, ambery floral fragrance and I do believe that's the scent of the entire line. And I will say if you like fragrance, this scent smells amazing. The product suds up very well as you can see and you'll probably also hear me say this more than once throughout the video but I truly believe that this shampoo is good for anybody who washes their hair often and just needs a general cleanser to get their hair clean without stripping it too much and not being heavy at the same time you know it is a hydrating shampoo as stated but it didn't feel super hydrating but it also didn't feel clarifying which I understand that point because it's not a clarifying shampoo I've been super low maintenance this summer with only washing my hair every two weeks Weeks, so this is not currently the most ideal product for me I would pair it with a clarifying shampoo but in the winter time when I am more consistent with my routine I can see myself getting a good cleanse with this when washing regularly next up is the richer one moisture repair deep conditioner and it's an ultra hydrating deep conditioner that makes hair softer reduces breakage and repairs split ends we're gonna get into the rich one moisture repair conditioner and why you won't be seeing me try it on my hair even though I used it twice a little later on in the video but I really wanted to show me detangling my hair in real time with the side of my hair because this conditioner has a lot of slip. The video just started but I will already go ahead and say that this is my favorite product from the line. This deep conditioner is supposed to repair split ends. It melts easily into the hair for smoother, shinier, healthier looking hair in just one wash. I'm just reading it according to the pamphlet that I have and it definitely does melt into my hair pretty well. I'll show you guys after I let it sit on my hair for about 20 minutes how it kind of disappeared and I felt like it did soak into my strands. You know how with some products before you rinse it out your hair feels really good and soft but it's really just because the product is still sitting on your hair and nothing else and then when you rinse it out it feels super dry and like it did nothing for your hair. That is not how my hair felt after using this deep conditioner. My hair felt so soft and look at how shiny it is. You can't deny that. And for this second week, I ended up just using the shampoo and deep conditioner. Hey y'all, so I am just redoing my ponytail and I figured that I would tell you guys how I'm feeling about the product so far. My hair was in this cute little bun. But I took it down because I think I want to do a bubble ponytail instead. I already have this product on my hair from the other day, so I think I'm just going to spray it a little bit first and see how it reacts and if I need to add more product. I have used the products twice already. You guys have only seen it once, but I have used the products twice. The first week, I used the shampoo. used the rinse out conditioner. I used the curl defining cream and the edge control. My hair was extremely dirty when I used the shampoo. Like my hair had a lot of buildup on it and it did not remove that buildup. I would say that it's a gentle shampoo and it's good for people who wash their hair often. I'm positive it's not a clarifying shampoo. It's more of a moisturizing shampoo or like a hydrating one, a little light cleanse of naturals who like their shampoos to be clarifying. The smells, I mean, Y'all already know, everybody talks about how amazing Rihanna smells, so of course her products are gonna 
smell real good. Now, the conditioner, I'm not impressed with the conditioner. I feel like it did nothing for my hair. I'm gonna use it again. The second time I used that conditioner, it was way too difficult to detangle my hair and work the product through that I just stopped and grabbed the deep conditioner. It just wasn't worth me going through that pain. Like, it physically hurt to detangle. In addition to that, when I rinsed it out, I kind of felt like I didn't use a conditioner at all. Like the conditioner is, it's just a no for me. It's too light for my hair. When I rinsed it out, my hair did not feel moisturized. And I felt like I had to use a lot of the product because I have a lot of hair. So I did use a lot of that conditioner to detangle and just work through my hair. If I'm not deep conditioning that week, I feel like I would want it to be a bit more moisturizing. After that, I did a braid out with the curl defining cream. As I was applying it, like my hair immediately felt so soft. It just felt really good. As far as defining my hair goes, I do not know if that product is gonna define my hair. But yeah, the curl defining cream, I love the way that it felt on my hair. It is super concentrated, so I was nervous. I was like, oh, if I use too much of this, it, it might flake. Hey y'all. So this is probably not the home curl. We are actually approaching a stop. So I'm actually gonna pull over so I can show you what happened to my hair now that it's like on day three. I used the home curl defining cream and it did not flake in the back. For whatever reason on this side, it's starting to flake. That doesn't happen to me often with product. And I don't know if this is gonna get worse or what. I don't know if I use too much product or if this product works better on like soaking wet hair, I'm not really sure. So far, that's what happened with the curl defining cream. I use the edge control both in Georgia and Florida. In Georgia, it held up very well. Like it's hot in Georgia, but it does not compare to Florida. It's very humid here, so it doesn't last as well. I was very impressed with it when I was in Georgia. And I was like, okay. We might be able to do a little something when we come home. Came home. Side note, I'm getting married this year, so I wanna get, you know, get my fitness together. I wanna to look and feel good on my special day. So I have been taking like Legree and Pilates. And what I've been doing is like testing out different edge controls. I probably should have made a video for this, you know. Just on my own as a little experimentation, just to see which one holds up the best in very intense environments where you're like sweating and you're moving around a lot. It was two weeks ago, cause y'all, I'll, I'll get to this timeline soon and how, and, and yeah. I use a different product on one side and then I use the Fenty edge control on the other side. It's not meant for physical activities like that. And I would assume most edge controls are not for exercising. So it it held up better than I expected it to, honestly. Feels like most other edge controls, you know? That's just the hardships that come with natural hair and live in extremely humid climates. Like a lot of products work differently depending on the climate that you live in. DC is pretty hot right now, but it's still not as hot as Florida, like think of the comparison. So when I'm in places like DC, when I'm in California, Chicago, Detroit, I don't worry about how my products will respond to my hair. Like they are good to go. And then I come here, it's a hard battle finding products that actually work for my hair in this type of climate. So when you think about the way that products work for you or may not work for you, oftentimes it has to do with where you live. Not all the time, but it definitely contributes. That was all the products I used the first week. The second week I used the shampoo again. I'm gonna try to use a little bit of this on my edges and see how it holds. Cause I mean, it held the ponytail down. It's only this side that really needs to be fixed, but. Next I used the deep conditioner and this is my critique of the directions. People need directions. I think the directions could be a little bit more detailed and it doesn't have to be on the bottle because i actually like how they have the qr code that you can scan and it sends you to the website i can only speak on the products that i've used so far and like with the deep conditioner it's a deep conditioner and usually with deep conditioners you allow it to sit on your hair for a certain amount of time different deep conditioners have different recommendations some will be like seven minutes some will be like 15 minutes 30 minutes with no heat 20 minutes with he some sort of direction on how long you're supposed to use it and this one does not have that so people using it using it as directed 
people would just assume that you just rinse it out right away. And that's what I assumed and I was gonna do that. And I was like, if I do that, my hair is already really dry. So I don't see a benefit in me if I leave it on for 30 seconds and then rinse it out. So I did what I usually do and I sat under the dryer and I'm glad that I did. The products that I use stopped with that besides this, which I used like a couple of days ago after I'd already been wearing a wash and go style for 10 days. When was that? I washed my hair with these products on June 30th. For me in this timeline, that was last Sunday. Wait, oh my God, no. I went ahead and started filming for this video on Friday, June 28th. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I wore that wash and go for 11 days. 11 days before using the jelly type to style my hair into this bun first and now I'm switching it only like two days later not even a full two days later because I want to do a bubble ponytail I don't know I feel like the deep conditioner kind of played a part in that because my hair does not feel dry she's moisturized I have been using sorry June yeah like mid-June so I've been using this product since mid-June and it is now mid-July. I've only used them twice because this summer I've only been washing my hair like every two weeks. Am I being lazy? I don't know. It's the only product that I'll be washing my hair with probably until August. Y'all see this ponytail? I wore this bubble ponytail for a couple more days even to my exercise classes. After I finally took my hair down, I washed my hair with the Rich One Shampoo and the Comeback Kid Instant Damage Repair Treatment. I meant to mention this earlier, but Fenty Hair has their own proprietary complex and they call it Replenicor. It was developed and clinically tested to repair, strengthen, hydrate, smooth, and protect. It has green tea extract, which is an antioxidant, hydrolyzed vegetable protein. They say it's optimized to not be too much protein for you. Your hair it also has Barbados gooseberry which is known to boost hydration in hair amino acids which is the building blocks of proteins and upcycled jackfruit extract which is rich in nutrients and vitamins I've been washing my hair with the shampoo twice to get it as clean as I can it gets it clean enough but it's just not to my satisfaction but I do have dandruff problems I mention that quite often in my videos, so my scalp care needs are pretty specific when I'm looking for hair care lines I love them to include shampoo that are more focused on scalp care, but that's just a personal preference. Following up now with the Comeback Kid, it's supposed to mend damaged bonds that cause split ends, prevent further damage, and instantly strengthen the hair. You can leave it on your hair for three to five minutes and then rinse it out, or you can just use it as a leave-in. They have visual instructions on how to use this product on the back of the bottle, but if you scan the QR code, it takes you to a website that does go into more detail. Again, my small critique about the directions is that even though they all have QR codes that send you to a page, I just wish that some of the other products especially the deep conditioner had more to the point directions like this one does i don't have much to say about this product just because i don't feel like i'm the intended audience for it since it is a damage repair treatment but i decided to use it anyways i am using the home curl curl defining cream for a wash and go even though i know exactly how it's going to turn out i still wanted to do it you see how big and voluminous my hair is naturally this product is only going to add moisture and that's it my hair is going to essentially dry as it would without any product that's typically what creams do to my hair but before I continue on with that this is a gel cream that's silicone free I tend not to use creams for wash and goes I don't know what it is they last a long time as far as moisture when I do braid outs or twist outs but with wash and goes the moisture doesn't last for more than two days and then it gets very dry filling and tangled and that's just a nightmare for me my next wash day because it really hurts to detangle at that point I love my natural hair without any product i love the way that it looks but i can wear my hair in its most natural state and use a mousse and have my big voluminous hair in the moisture last all week with this product i just know that that's not going to happen for me and i haven't even finished styling yet and i just know it this is how my hair has dried it dried exactly how i expected it to because this is my hair in its natural state essentially this is how my hair dries when i don't use any product at all when i use very little product like i did with the fancy hair curl cream and when i use like a light mousse my hair is very big naturally like this was air dried me personally i would reserve this product for what i've been doing which is braid outs even though this is very similar to how i style my hair in the winter i feel like it wouldn't last long enough to me definitely going to be styling my hair again before this week and washing which i expected so 
It's all cool. I'm gonna get to use their heat protector later on this week. It's about to stretch my hair out. I'm gonna use the Shark Pro to just give me a little bit of length to go with this volume. So the volume is always gonna hit. I need to insert a picture of what my stretch fluffy washing goes look like last year. I need to find that because there's definitely growth. Does my hair look fire? Yes, it does. Is it gonna last more than three days? No. Skipped ahead a little bit to late August for our final wash before we post this review. You already know I'm using the Rich One shampoo. I've been using this shampoo for the past two months. And low key, I'm just excited to use clarifying shampoos again. I'm a clarifying girl. This is so unusual for me, you guys. It really is. Ah! Because I understand the necessity and the glory of a clean slate, I'm not afraid of a little hair strip because that's how I get the moisture back in my hair and reduce the amount of buildup that I have. I used to be someone who was afraid of clarifying shampoos and I would not use it. I would only use moisturizing shampoos and what I'm experiencing now is what I experienced back then. Sometimes you don't need more moisture. You need to clarify your hair. My hair feels dry. It feels drier than it usually does because I have not clarified my hair in two months and I'm so ready to get back to that. But I really wanted to give these products a fair assessment and use them for as long as I can. But you need, I won't say you need because your hair is your business and it's not my place to tell you what you need. My hair needs to be clarified or it will not function at its best. I can't do moisturizing shampoos only. Just keep putting moisture on my hair. Don't really remove buildup. So I'm just packing more and more products products on my hair my strands are not actually getting any of the hydration and nutrients that they need but that's just me I spent so much time talking about the shampoo that I didn't even really get into the deep conditioner but you already know I don't have anything negative to say about that deep conditioner except for the directions and that has nothing to do with the products or the ingredients at all the final product that I'm using is the protective type 5-in-1 heat protectant styler it provides heat protection up to 450 degrees while hydrating smoothing defrizzing and detangling and I'm using my new shark dryer to blow out my hair while using this product. I enjoy that this product has really great slip because I'm not blow drying my hair on soaking wet hair. I kind of let it dry a little bit too much and I still had no issues. I didn't use too much product so it didn't feel weighed down. I've used this product twice for this blowout and a blowout that I'll insert a picture for here. I'm satisfied with the results. This is definitely a blow dry cream which I typically reserve for just regular blowouts or stretch styles. I would not use this for a silk press. I feel like it would be too heavy. Overall, I think it's a solid product. Pretty good base for all the styles I did over the next two weeks. Now that I've been using Fenty hair for over two months, here are the products I would and would not purchase. As far as the shampoo goes, I'm kind of on the fence on whether or not I would purchase it. I still say this is great for those of you who wash your hair more often and are looking for something that's kind of in the middle that'll give you that gentle cleanse without stripping your hair. I would not purchase the rinse out conditioner. Slip is a very important thing to me when it comes to rinse out conditioners and this one just did not provide that for me. I will be purchasing the Richer One Deep Conditioner. I'm actually about to go online now and order me another one. I can see this being in my rotation of deep conditioners. I really like how my hair felt afterwards and for the entire week afterwards in general I don't really use styling products to base my moisture level throughout the week someone else said it best styling products are like makeup for your hair your wash day that's your skin prep. It's what is the foundation for how you get your styles to last. I would not purchase the Comeback Kid personally, and it's not that there's anything wrong with this product, so I can't even tell you if you should or shouldn't purchase the product. In fact, I would never tell you if you should or shouldn't purchase the product. I'm always just tell you how it works for me. I don't have damaged hair. This is an intense damage treatment, and I don't feel like I can fairly assess how well the product worked out for me because I don't feel like I'm the target. I'm on the fence about this product because one thing that holds me back a little bit is the risk of flaking because I'm heavy handed. The Jelly Type Stronghold Gel, I like this one. I would purchase it again. I don't know how many more times I would purchase it because I have other slick back stylers that are more affordable. I don't have to pay this price to achieve these results. I would not purchase the controlling type. I have my little concoction for my edge controls that just work for me. Even when I mix this with Eco Styler, which is what I do to mix other edge controls to get it to really stay in place, just didn't do the job here. I live in Florida. It's hot as hell here. <laughs> just not right for the climate. Lastly is the protective type. I use this twice. I will use this strictly for blowouts when I'm not straightening my hair. I will purchase this product. But that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you in the next one.